Exactly. There's a lot of talk about our kids on uh, different diagnoses. I want to touch on that. Bipolar seems to be one that is the, the big four that always shows up in our kids about bipolar. So let's explore that a little bit and how that also relates, obviously, to mood, but to regulation because it's like the extremes and they can't seem to find their, their midpoint. But how does bipolar then work into to the traumatic situation with the child? Well, bipolar disorder is a very distinct and specific diagnosis. It's usually founded in genetics and biology, and there are definite medical tests that can help, not confirm, but definitely support if it is a true disorder. So many of our kids, what we're talking about, are diagnosed as bipolar based on a set of symptoms and that ridiculous checklist again, or what people talk about. Bipolar children typically can have mood changes, but they, that doesn't mean they are bipolar. Bipolar kids, if they are truly bipolar, which is written by really learned experts, they have peaks and valleys and highs and lows that are usually rapid cycling. They have episodes of mania or hypomania, which they tend to be grandiose, omnipotent, and euphoric. And a lot of our children are not. They have changes in their mood cycles from happiness to sadness, which is not bipolarism. And people confuse this pattern a lot. So a lot of people put this diagnosis on a kid by being bipolar when they're either negative, angry, oppositional, moody, irritable, grouchy, which is indigenous to all traumatized children. It's something we call trauma not bipolarism. You have to wait to really sort that out until they're in their late teenage years before you can really confirm a diagnosis. So you're right, that's just trauma. I and mean, of course, any one of us that went through the experiences of our kids, we'd be irritable, uh, grouchy, angry, oppositional because of the experiences and to put a label of bipolar I think is it's quite unfair to our kids on that level. Well, I, I think any child who's gone through a fear life pattern is gonna come out swinging. They're going to come out fighting. They're going to do one of two things, come out fighting or shut down totally. And so think about what bipolar is, highs and lows. What are traumatized kids, what are their two options? Come out fighting or isolate. It's no different. And so people put a label on it as bipolar when, in fact, it's the cycle of fear, we call it, or the progression of aggression. They have anxiety. They have fear. They have depression. They have isolation. They have loneliness. They get into anger, then they into aggression, then it can go into predatory aggression. Because this is what happens when you have a child who has not been raised or has been raised in a very damaged vacuum. And so they're going to be coming out very afraid and emotionally unstable. It does not mean they're bipolar, it means they're traumatized.